Hi guys, happy Friday to you. Alright, so I'm going to do my February favourites. So I have some favourites. I feel like I'm looking quite bright. Like I didn't quite plan the bright lips and the bright under eye and <laughs> purple and the bright necklace. But I'm just like, I'm vibrant, I'm bright, I'm ready for spring. Some favourites I want to share with you guys, some things I really love. Okay, first thing, first order of business. <laughs> Um, this is a favorite. Oh my gosh, guys. I love this so much. This is from Lush, and this is Snow Showers Shower Jelly. Oh. Oh, I can't even. I can't even express how happy I am to have this in my life. I adored this. Probably like two or three years ago, it was like a Christmas limited edition item, and I hoarded a bunch and used it, and then I didn't have it anymore. And I've been heartbroken without it. Yeah, my showers have not been the same. But I have this back in my life. It is the best smell ever, guys. Um, snow showers. A luxury... Luxur... Luxuriously... Luxuriously? Is that a word? A luxuriously refreshing snowy shower jelly scented with wild oranges, cognac, um, and it's... I don't know why I'm having such a hard time just reading off of this. I don't know. I'm having issues today, guys. But seriously, I could just smell this all day long and be happy. And it makes me, like, it makes for a really happy shower. It's really great for, like, in the mornings because it's really citrusy and uplifting and just makes you happy. <laughs> um, so it smells like fresh squeezed, like, orange juice and then that cognac. And it's just delicious smelling. If you're not familiar with Lush's shower jellies, it's just like, oh, a little jelly. And you just like pinch some out and then crush it into like a loofah. And it makes like the best sudsy bubbles and it just like cleans you really well. It smells delicious. Leaves your skin scented afterwards. Um, and it's amazing. I got this um, off the Lush UK site because I sell it there. I don't know if the Lush US site has it. Um, but just check it in the, um, just check the site and look in the retro section. Otherwise, you can get this on the Lush UK site, and they do ship to the U.S. and they ship worldwide. I just truly, truly adore this stuff, and I'm so happy that it's not limited edition anymore, and it's in the retro section, and I could buy it whenever I run out, and I won't have to be without it anymore, and I'm so happy. I love it, guys. Love it. Okay, another favorite. Ah. What was that? <laughs> um, this is from Hourglass. I think because it's a luxurious item that I just have to make, you know, sound effects when I show it. But this is the um, Ambient Lighting Blush in Radiant Magenta. There's what it looks like. It's so pretty, guys. I have it on today. <laughs> and it's just a really pretty, what would I call this? Yeah, like a light, warm tone pink. Because it has the brightness of that magenta and then the little bit of peach undertones in that radiant ambient lighting powder mixed together. And that's what these are. Are There's the pink part here is the actual blush. And like the little peach part here is like the ambient lighting powder. So just... it. It's marbled together and you swirl it around and it just makes a really seamless blush. It's a really natural blush. If you, I don't think you can overdo this blush. It just blends in effortlessly. I do feel like they are kind of expensive for what they are. Um, am I rushing out to buy all the other colors? No, but I do really like this and I have really been enjoying it. It just kind of complements any kind of eye look or any kind of makeup I have going on. And it just looks pretty and it just blends in really nice. It's really easy to work with. And I've just, I've really enjoyed it. So I had to include it in my favorites, let you guys know what I think about it. Are they amazing? Yeah, but they're not, I don't need to buy all of them. I don't need to spend that much money on blushes. But if you have the money and you want like a really soft, luminous, glowy cheek that's effortless to blend in and just goes on nicely. I have really liked it, so I like it. Am I going to get more? No. But this one I do enjoy. I have been wearing a lot and just, it just looks nice. It's just nice to go on. Just blend easy and it's pretty. I like it. 
Another thing, I've fallen back in love with the dim lighting, also from Hourglass. I'm sorry, this is an expensive favorites video. Um, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. That's what it looks like. It's just a nice, kind of peachy, mauve skin tone. That sounds weird, but it just makes you glow. It just buffs out any imperfections, and I just really like it. And I've really been enjoying it with the 919 Paddle Brush from Sedona Lace. I've been using these two together. It's like the perfect complement. I've been using these two, I don't know, even like maybe two months or so. And I just love the way this brush picks up this powder and just, you just swipe it on and there you go, you're good to go. And they just work perfect together. So I've been really enjoying this combo, the dim light and the 919 Sedona Lace Paddle Brush. It's so soft. Ah, it's lovely. Guys, I've been enjoying this so much. This is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I featured it in a Friday Favorites. But honestly, this is all I've had on my face since I bought this. It's all I've had. It's all that's all it's on my face. I, I mean, I have the ambient powder on on top of it, but I love this CC cream. I feel like it has really great coverage. It's like medium coverage. It covers up everything I need it to, you know, like acne, pigment, like old acne scars, you know, um, pigmentation issues and redness. I feel like it just covers that up, makes me look like fresh faced and I don't look like I have like a cake face like I don't look like I have a whole bunch of makeup on I just look kind of like I have naturally really nice skin so I really like this now I will say there are five different colors in this um, line which is really nice you know they have a fair I'm in light and they have medium dark and like rich like or something like that you know there's five different shades and it has an SPF of 50, it has anti-aging hydrating serum in it. I feel like it's really good for my dry skin, especially in the winter time. I don't find it makes me overly oily. I just really enjoy this. I will say, when I got this home, I tried it, and I loved it, fell in love with it from like first application, and then I looked at the ingredients on the back of the box, and the first ingredient is snail secretion, and that's a little funky. I'm not going to lie, but it's so good that I don't care. Is that bad? That's bad. Um, so, I'm guessing snail secretion is like what they leave behind when they like snail along on the ground. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but it's really good. <laughs> um, I know Michael Todd's like new, I think it's called new or whatever his products is like snail slime too and apparently that has something really good to do with anti-aging. I don't know, maybe snails don't age. Weird, but it's so good. It's so good that I'm over that I'm willing to overlook putting snail slime on my face. I love it. Okay, last couple of favorites are some brushes. Um, this is the Sigma E15 Flat Definer Brush. It's just a synthetic flat square liner brush. And I just have been absolutely adoring this. I've loved this for a really long time, but I just it just makes the under eye area so much better. I meant to include this in my Friday favorites last week, but something happened with my video footage and like half of my video just disappeared. So I didn't get to talk about this, or I did talk about it, but you guys didn't see it in the video. But this is just a great brush to blend out colors underneath your eyes. That's what I that's how I put my under eye shadow on today. It just blends it in easily like a dream and I love it and it's perfect. Last favorite is an e.l.f. brush. This is $3 from Target, or you can get it cheaper online or off the e.l.f. website. They have sales frequently. This is the Small Stipple brush. I hear a lot of hype about this. Um, I think people use it for like a multitude, multitude, for multiple reasons. I love this because it is so perfect for me to put on my highlight. Um, I love that it doesn't, I love that it's a dual fiber, so it just picks up a little bit of highlight and you can just build it up and just not, you know, not become like a disco ball. You can just slightly blend in some highlight to give you a nice glow without overdoing it and just blends it in really nicely. And it's, I'm really impressed by this brush. It's three dollars. Three dollars and it's awesome. I'm, I'm happy I picked this up. I have always saw it at Target and I always think about buying it because I hear so much about it and I heard a lot of people talk about it. And I'm like, meh, I don't need it. 
And I just one day I was like, just buy it, you know? What what harm can it do? It's three dollars. But it's really good and I'm really happy I bought it. So yay! I like it. I just forgot to talk about my most important favorite I've discovered this month. What am I thinking? Um I finally, I finally got it. I finally got it. Yay! This is the Real Techniques um, Miracle Complexion Sponge. Oh my gosh, guys. This is $5.99. The beauty blenders are $19.99. And they work. They work the same. They, this is such a good dupe. It has the same kind of consistency. This is bigger because um, I used it today. So you do it the same way. You run it underwater and squeegee it out and it puffs up like double the size. And it's awesome! Um, it's a different shape. As you guys, I know, this is in so many videos, but honestly guys, I, I'm just floored at how good it is. Once I tried the Beauty Blender and tried dupes, I just knew there was no way I was ever going to stray away from the Beauty Blender. But this little guy I've been cheating on the Beauty Blender with, it's so good! Um, so it has a different shape. It has the nice point here, which is great for underneath the eyes to like, you know, blend in concealer. And it has like this flat edge that I wasn't sure I was going to like because I really liked like the bouncy edge. Like I really liked to pounce in my foundation with the Beauty Blender. But this flat guy I actually quite like. It just it fits on the face nicely. It just blends in nicely and it just works so well. And I'm just, I'm impressed. They did really good. Most Beauty Blender dupes are nowhere near as soft and bouncy and springy and lovely. Oh, it's just good. It's good stuff, guys. This is so good. So there's a reason why it's been sold out, and I couldn't get my hands on it for so long, because it's really awesome. So if you do see it in store, I highly suggest you guys picking it up, because it's amazing. Love it. Alright, guys, so that's all my favorites for the month of February. I hope you guys have a great March, and thank you so much for watching. Heart you guys all. Bye, everybody.